guess I started putting together these video clips in order to illustrate that it is possible in my experience to get general cosmetic products like shampoo, conditioner, face masks or bath bombs and things like that and then not be tested on animals um, and they, they don't have to be hard to find or expensive or anything like that yeah um, I didn't make the, this video in order to claim that I'm perfect <laughs> by the way um, I don't check whether or not uh, products are tested on animals in, in hotels that I go to, if that I've been to. Um, I don't check other people's products. <laughs> I think I'd probably go insane if I just started checking everyone's products and micromanaging them and all, all of that. Um, yeah, so, <laughs> so I'm not claiming that, you know, everything that has ever touched me has not, has not been tested because some of it surely has, but when I buy stuff, I try and make sure that it's not being tested on animals. Um, another way that I am not claiming that I'm perfect is I know that there is a difference between tested on animals and vegan. Um, a product can be not tested on animals and still contain animal products like mil milk or honey or stuff like that. Um, so there is a bit of a difference. So I'm not claiming that I am perfect and uh, completely cruelty free in all facets or anything like that. I'm just claiming that you can make a step in the right direction easily um, uh, for the most part. Uh, the, these video clips by the way are taken in England and Canada. Um, yeah and so I just think, you know, you can make steps in the right direction and if everyone switched to products that said that they weren't tested on animals, then pretty soon all of the products wouldn't be tested on animals because, you know, the manufacturers wouldn't want to lose out on a huge amount of their market. Also, I'm not claiming that everyone can just switch products. You know, if you've got like skin conditions or whatever and you've found a product that works for you, um, maybe you can't switch, but you could email them <laughs> and say that you'd prefer that it be as cruelty free as possible. Or you could, you, you know, maybe you can't do something, but if 90% of the population can do something and they do something, then your product will probably change too eventually because the manufacturers won't want to lose out on 90% of the market. <laughs> so everyone can just do as much as they can and <laughs> and then you know things will just improve <laughs> yeah anyway so I'm not claiming this is the, the, I'm perfect this is just basically um, an illustration of various different products that I've found that were not tested on animals and just shows that they come in a variety of prices, they're easy to find, you know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's it basically. This one seemed pretty good. It says it's made in England. Um, it says, uh, we believe in natural, we have un no unnecessary nasties, we are not tested on animals and we are vegan friendly. So that one's, that one's the one that I've purchased at the moment in Ecto. It says the word vegan and there's a flower. When it comes to bathroom products, I'm not overly picky. The product itself, still pretty much most products are the same. I just, I would prefer it then if it wasn't tested on animals. Because it's not the cure for cancer or something. It's just another shampoo. Why, why would it have to be tested on animals? It's the same as all of the other hundred <laughs> that we've been using for years and years. I'm looking forward to seeing what colours my dragon egg bath bomb is. White on the outside, but then on the inside they're colourful.
too white. This is white outside, but then inside it's this bright orange colour. I do really like these melts. This one, um, I've had one of these ones before and I can't really smell the coffee but this is just really lovely and soft. I've got this bath bomb at Lush and you put it in the water and then all these little, little hearts are coming off it. It's pretty cool I think. I got this. This bath bomb uh, shaped like a gingerbread man um, against animal testing, paraben free. I think this is too much packaging. <laughs> it's too many layers of packaging. Um, but it was, uh, yeah, it was just a reduced after Christmas thing. I thought it was kind of, kind of interesting as a one-off. When we came to Canada, I got this shampoo. Not tested on animals. Someone mentioned to me recently Lush Shampoo Bars and so I got one. The packaging is just paper. I got this shampoo from London Drugs. Um, vegan, never tested on animals. I got this one which says it's cruelty free uh, from Dollarama but I couldn't work out how to get the, the lid to work. So I put it all in, in this container that I already had. I just bought this uh, face mask as a one-off. Here it says we are vegetarian and animals are our friends. That's why we don't use bash bunnies and you add bits of animals. And down at the bottom there's a pizza sticker, there's a cruelty free bunny, there's a vegetarian society approved thing there. So yeah. <laughs> Yo.